Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss germination chambers. If you like that kind of thing, stay tuned. This is my germination chamber. It's nothing fancy. It's just a chest freezer I got for $120 off Craigslist. I've actually had it for a while. But this is something that you can get possibly for free. An old chest freezer someone's giving away. You can also use upright freezers. But it's really simple. If you've ever had a problem with germinating seeds, this is your solution. So let's take a look at it. This germination chamber consists of the chest freezer, an old crock pot set on low, filled with water, and of course the seed trays. And an ink bird temperature controller. This is set to 72 degrees and the differential is set to three degrees, which means when it gets three degrees above or below the set temperature, either the heat or the cooling will turn on. How this controller works is it has a plug with a cooling side and a heating side. You plug the crock pot to the heating side and the freezer to the cooling side. If it gets too hot in there, the cooler, the freezer will turn on to cool it down. If it's too cold, then the crock pot will turn on and heat it up. It almost creates like a steam in here whenever the crock pot is on. You can see all the moisture on the side of the freezer. It creates a lot of moisture. These have been in here for about a day, so nothing yet but I can take you to my nursery outside and show you what some lettuce looks like after a couple of days and some chives only after a few days. So there's nothing special about this. I put the crock pot on this little shelf on the side of the freezer. I had to expand it a little bit <clears throat> to make it wider. So I just made a little wood bench and I got some uh, old tile that I had to set the crock pot on. I don't want to melt any plastic on the freezer or anything, so that seems to be working well. And you don't have to put water in here very often. Um, just fill it up. I don't even fill it up all the way. I just uh, every now and then put another cup or two of water in there. But this is lettuce, I believe, on top. Um, it should germinate in about 48 hours, maybe 72 hours, but it definitely works. So as soon as the seeds pop out, as soon as they germinate, as soon as you see a lot of them coming up, you go ahead and take those out and put them in your greenhouse or another <clears throat> space like a grow room under lights or something like that. So that is about it. So let's go to the nursery and show you some that have germinated recently. Okay, we're in the nursery and it is very windy today. So just bear with me. Here is a 200 cell tray that germinated in the germination chamber recently. And you can see a lot of them have come up, pretty much all of them. And then you can see all these other trays are a little bit more mature, but the germination looks pretty even. There's a few cells that didn't come up. That's pretty much normal. I just try to seed more trays so I have enough. Um, this is chives. 
And you can see, oh, where is it? Let's see, right there. That's a little chive coming up. These were in the germ chamber for three or four days. Chive seeds take a long time to pop up. You can see some there. On a normal, how you normally, most people would seed stuff. But in that germ chamber, they popped up real quick. And I always have a problem germinating chive seeds. Here's a tray that I did not put vermiculite on, but it was in the germ chamber. It did okay, but with vermiculite, the germination is much better. So vermiculite is just this sterile stuff. You can buy it at any home goods store. It just helps retain moisture and prevent algae. So, if that's something that you are into and you have a problem with germinating seeds, let me tell you, this is a surefire way to do that, especially if you're a farmer or say you have a really huge garden, you can germinate any seeds in this germination chamber and it works great. So I would highly recommend it. But thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.